Hey, welcome to the uh, Woods Lab here at Danville High School. Just want to talk to you today about a couple of different types of hand tools that we need to use, uh, have various uh, uses, especially when we're talking about cutting and cutting tools. So we have over here a different selection of wood rasps, um, real sharp teeth, different shapes to the wood rasp. There's usually a flat side and a round side. Uh, this particular rasp is round all the way for different shapes. Notice that they have the handles. This one doesn't have a handle. Um, people will use them like this, but really there's a safety issue there. Um, if they slip, that's going, when you're holding it like this, and if that slips, it's gonna come right back into your wrist. So this is generally a safety hazard to not have handles on your wood rasps. And the same thing over here, we have files, different files. Now, uh, one of the main re uses for these, of course, is that as a cutting tool. Um, so I'm going to start here with the wood rasp. This gives us a, uh, this is actually going to kind of tear the wood. I've got my piece here in my vise. I'm just going to cut an angle or chamfer on this board. And you'll see, now notice the way I start. I start at this corner holding it and I go up all the way. That gives me and tears that wood, gives me a nice chamfered corner. Now if I needed to make a radius on there, maybe I just cut in and I can put in addition to that radius or chamfer I can make that be a nice radius here as I cut now what you're not noticing here I'm this is not a saw action as I go up on the uh, push stroke as I lift up slightly on the back stroke so that I'm not bringing those teeth and working against the teeth uh, your radial uh, rasp are kind of the same way these are just going to give you a nice curve and a radius as you work these in there and again this is one of those cases where the shape of the cutter is creating the shape on our workpiece these are just simple we just pull these back and they cut in leave us nice easy to use hand tools uh, that give us a lot of different usage now one of the things about your rasps, they're very coarse. Uh, would have to do a lot of sanding on that to smooth out our board when we're done. So we can also use hand files. And again, there's different grits. These are all, actually all fine um, files. There are coarser files as well, but it's the same thing as you cut. These will give us a nicer finish. I grab hold by the handle and up here at the top, I start down here and I move forward, pull back, lift it up. As a uh, machinist who spent six months, the very first six months of my apprenticeship, the hand file was the only tool that I was allowed to use. So you really learn how to use these to cut radiuses or chamfers on an edge of the board. They get nice and fine. Of course, these can be used for both wood or metal. Um, in both, we have to watch. Uh, they can clog up, so we got different files, uh, file brushes to kind of clean out and get the debris out of there. Sometimes I'll just take on my apron and rub it across my apron to, just to wipe those off too. So anyway, this is a quick down and dirty video on the cutting tools of hand rasps, rasps, and hand files. So I, useful tools if you know how to use them. Notice it didn't take me too long to kind of round off uh, this corner and this edge to make it on this part. So thanks for watching.